Cries for change in Asheville are being heard by city and county leaders. Buncombe County Commissioners have passed a resolution to remove two Confederate monuments in town with the idea of possibly repurposing a third. This comes a week after City Council unanimously approved the same idea. 7 News' Melanie Palmer fills us in on what that timeline could look like and the next step in the process. Words of disapproval now covering some Confederate monuments in Asheville, but there's now a push from city and county leaders to remove some of these monuments. We received 549 messages supporting the removal of monuments and 19 messages opposing the removal. Buncombe County Commissioners sharing feedback they got from area residents. Hundreds of messages urging county leaders to take down Confederate monuments in town. It's extremely offensive that we still have these standing. Others pushing for them to stay. That's a prominent focal point of Asheville. It's not racist. However, that push wasn't enough. All in favor of the motion, please say aye. 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 Those opposed? Aye. aye. Buncombe County Commissioners passed a resolution to remove three Confederate monuments. That includes the Vance Monument, a memorial honoring the 60th Regiment of North Carolina Confederate soldiers, and the Robert E. Lee Dixie Highway Marker. Hold on to some history is important, but what's the right history? It's a move Lita Nogarol tells us has left her on the fence. She tells us she believes it's time for a change. However, she backs another option on the table. I think that that like repurposing anything is always awesome. Repurposing the Vance Monument is something city attorney Brad Branham tells us is being discussed. Repurposing the existing monument to relocating it to removing it. So all of those options are on the table. However, the other two are owned by the United Daughters of the Confederacy. He says county and city leaders are sending them a letter saying they have 30 days to get back with them on a plan of action. If they don't, he says it won't stop the monuments from being taken down. They're not owned by the city or the county, but if the owner fails to remove it, they're currently encroaching into public spaces. Adding they're hoping to have a plan for what's being taken down, repurposed, or relocated within 90 days. And this isn't the only place where you'll find the name Vance here in Asheville. Not too far away from here, there's Vance Elementary School. That's something the city attorney tells us a task force will be talking about in the near future. In Asheville, Melanie Palmer, 7 News. We reached out to the United Daughters of the Confederacy about their plan with these monuments. They sent us a statement that says in part they oppose any effort to destroy, remove, or relocate Confederate memorials.